get the bell pressers to breathe in there. My. <laughs> <laughs> Three hundred in here so far. All oh, cash, of course. All right. Uh, calculated three hundred should get us home. I'm Bob Tell, so I'll probably get like maybe eight, nine miles to the gallon. I think I can hold maybe 130 gallons. It's pretty cheap down here too. Uh, oh shit, they ain't got the fuel price on the, on the oh yeah they do. Right here, yeah, you see it. 269 right here at the Circle K, uh, outside of Austin, heading up towards Waco. Pretty cheap, decided to pull in here before I got up to that fire flying J. Which a little ways up the way, you know, flying J gonna cost more. So, right now we in Austin, uh, outside of Austin, for all y'all that wanna know, can a $15,000 truck make it OTR?
flat top of course I got a flat top right there. The one that I own, the fifteen thousand dollar truck that we got the title to. It's right there. Now you're at the truck stop. So I know it's at least, at least, what, 10 hours? We in Austin right now, so Dallas is still like, probably like four hours from here. But I ain't gonna hold y'all up. We can't get the flat topping on. And I'll catch y'all with the next video. Finally got the tire back on the, 
Back on the ground. Is it good? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it says good now. Go on, give them the review. Here. You don't need no sauce? Said it's good. That's all you need to know. Give y'all a quick update. We up here in uh, Dallas, Texas at the pilot. The one coming out of Texas, Canada into Dallas. I forgot the exit number. I think it's like exit 90 or so. So the one with the McDonald's in it. But uh, so far so good. No issues with the truck. Uh, I may do a little time lapse. But uh, shoot, I don't got my mount bar, so I can't give y'all a little time lapse. But uh, we got about eight more hours to go. Flip the camera. My buddy in here, you're getting some McDonald's, but got about eight hours to go. Uh, truck is working fine. I know a lot of y'all was under the impression that because the truck only costs $15,000, you can only go a certain distance. And I guess the truck explodes, or I'm not exactly sure what y'all would have been taught, but we in Dallas, Texas, and we going all the way to Memphis. Total trip was between 800 to 900 miles, and uh, everything is uh, going smooth. And uh, yeah, man, what the gauges are reading? Uh, just a little bit under 14 volts. Air yeah, pressure is good. Got a half a tank, and really the the the, the hand ain't even moved since we left Boston. Then again, we got Bob Teller. So I can see everything is on the up and up. It's a temp gauge. All right, all right. All pressure is good. No check engine lights, stop engine light, or DEF lights. We don't got none of that going on. Right here, hard, flat topping, running. Alternator working good. Battery is working good. Air working good. CB working good. Truck working good. I don't know what else to tell y'all, man. Got my Blackstones sticker up there. Kind of coming off a little bit. It's not sticking no more. That's my, my Blackstones laboratory. As y'all can see, my oil sample. Let me know my engine is uh nice and smooth. In case y'all didn't see that, I may include it in this video. I may do a video uh, by itself. Let me uh, update y'all on my stories right quick. YouTube stories. Give me just a second now. I'm going to give y'all a little update. Let me do YouTube stories right here. What's going on, YouTube? At the pilot. Dallas, Texas. Truck still working good. And uh, we still rolling to Memphis. Yeah. 
got with me.
Well, you probably got wire. Put the put the screws in. That ain't gonna mean nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way I said it. 